Um, we try as much as we can to do, you know, very simple day-to-day -day things that you would do in the home. You know, like, don't leave the faucet running. Turn things down to the lowest setting they can be. Use the compact fluorescent lights. I mean, not anything that, you know, you wouldn't do in your own house to save on energy costs. And a lot of that is just, you know, pragmatic in the sense that it's more cost-effective long-term and investing in a business. We also do compost, like so there's like giant compost buckets and, and we don't compost like pork pasta but people that work here that have gardens at their own home come in a couple times a week and pick it up. We donate our fryer oils to people to make biodiesel instead of just dumping it somewhere in a, in a, in a container. Um, we also make a lot of contributions to the local community, like people are, we do a lot of charity, a lot of philanthropic endeavors, I mean you know we'll hand out gift cards and stuff to, to various causes and we have um, a marketing coordinator that is responsible for basically deciding whether or not we want to contribute to a cause and you know, if, if we can kick a little bit back. We do kids activities, um, you know, it's, it's very interesting. It's a lot more than just being a waitress or My name is Sonia Marcus and my title is Sustainability Coordinator. The composting system is going to allow us to divert a significant portion of all of our biodegradable waste from the landfill, which is where it would have ended up otherwise. What we're doing by actually diverting it from the landfill is on the one hand creating a resource because we're creating this soil amendment that is very valuable. And on the other hand, we're also avoiding, you know, methane gas emissions, which would have resulted from us sending that material to the landfill. And we have ended up, in fact, with the largest in vessel composting system at any college or university in the country, since its overall capacity is 28 tons of material at any one time. My name is Eric Lee, and I'm the chef manager of the bakery and vegetable prep facility. In the past, we have put most of our trimmings, probably 95%, down the garbage disposal, which required us to continuously run water and run the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal is pretty expensive to maintain. Now we don't have to run it hardly at all, and we don't have to run water continuously. The composting project was very well planned and thought through, and been extremely smooth starting up and implementing it. My name is Greg King. I am the person in charge of running the compost machine. I start out by going to central food stores, picking up the materials, take it up to the compost site, run it up the elevator, dump it into the hopper at the top, go outside and physically shovel wood chips into a container, I go run them up the elevator, dump them into the mixing bin at the top. At that point, I'm able to open the doors in the unit and let the materials that's in that mixing chamber fall into the composter. And then I do that repetitively until I get about 4,000 pounds of total weight into the composting machine which has 14 trays in it, and each tray will hold 4,000 pounds of compost. We're running at capacity, we should advance one tray per day, so we should produce 4,000 pounds of compost. It's really important for people to see this project as part of this much larger institutional commitment that we're making to sustainability. And that yes, this is one step on that path, but we recognize there's more to it than that and that we can celebrate this achievement and really feel a sense of pride about it and also recognize there's plenty of work that's still to be done. I mean, this is really just one step in a longer process in order to achieve our more visionary goals. Whoa.